last time on the Space Between, we loaded up the boat with all the essentials, had to go buy a new dinghy, and we also had an uneventful crossing to West End. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is the Space Between. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. I'm just smiling down upon my enemies Do the shit and love it on a daily Say you hate your job but you'll never leave Never leave but that ain't gonna be me That ain't gonna be me My brother called me up said he saw me on TV And I'll let you show Dan and Donnie to their room They're over there across from us No sooner did they hit the decks Than we headed over to Nippers to get the pre-party going Round one of the Nipper shit show. <laughs> Actually, won't be a shit show until we get documenting coming home. Yeah, yeah. The then. Right in the camera yeah, I was home. gonna say you oh, might have okay. to be. I have done it, folks. I have mastered the art of chartering. Last night I had Randy cooking my chicken. <laughs> And this one snuck off and did the dishes. And this morning, Carol's making the biscuits. So, um, I really pretty much got it made. I'm a guest here on board the Space Between. Look at them, know, homemade safety. buttermilk biscuits. Mm -mm -mm. Homemade sausage gravy. You can call it a hoe, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the hoe that made the biscuits. Just on me. It's what happens when you get a boatload of Texans on your boat. Flip for a bit, you know, some of that's in the The sound is bad, but it's because the seas are beautiful today. Holy cow. This is day. Uh oh. Yep. This is Cheeburger in Paradise Eve, ladies and gentlemen. The party has yet to begin. We are some of the first few to get here. <clears throat> Look out, because the party's about to happen. The water's a little shallow to get the big girl up in here, but it's happening. Got some slack pulling out. We're getting anchored. We're going to hang out here for a few hours till the tide gets a little higher and we can move on in. As you see the boat's just ahead, that's where we're headed, right over there, where the party's going to be. We're going to back the big boat in and get set up for the party. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the shit show, a.k.a. Cheeseburger in Paradise. We're getting all lined out. They got the big power cats trying to come in and get jostled for position, get them anchored down. We are fourth in line, so it uh, looks like this one power cat here, power cat number three, is uh, going to have to move over to this other slot so it's going to take a little bit and then we're we're going to try to back up where that little boat is right there we're going to see how that goes so anyway that's our situation as we see it right now the shit so continues right here on klxar cheeseburger and paradise party as we're all just kind of chilling out hanging out waiting to see what goes down so talk to you in a bit Squeeze her right in. Mm -hmm. Well, that was uneventful. That wasn't that guy, though. Randy, introduce me to your little friend. Hey, hey our new little friend for the party. He's just pushing. <laughs> He's just pushing to boot. Once again, we have Mr. Whipple <laughs> Here we on are. the grill. Here we are, wonderful Holly. We're fixing to grill up some of the world's finest Texas beef that you've ever had. It's a big, thick, prime, great steak. There's going to be some mouth water, and you'll slap your mama. They're so good. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. All I hear is, once again, I'm not a cook. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them steaks. Look at that steak. That's some Texas meat right there. 
Right. Sandbar to the right of us. Sunset, sunset to the left, left and a steak in the middle and, and then, a space between and again a steak and this is the best steak okay, I've ever oh, had so guess what time it is that's right it is the 2019 cheeseburger in paradise fourth annual shit show so last night when we rolled in here um, I mean last time when we rolled in here there was only Four, possibly five boats rafted up. Well, this is at, what time is it? Eight. Eight o'clock in the morning. If you look back at the other show at video, you'll see that eight o'clock in the morning looked nothing like this last year. I think this is gonna be the largest cheeseburger paradise party that has ever existed. But it's a party for a cause. Um, we raise money for the Amy Roberts School and um, Green the Turtle. Green Turtle Fire Department, and but basically it's just an excuse to go have a good time. And that will we do. Well, da, 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 that we will do. But first. All right, folks, we're watching the boats pour in. It is now 10 a.m. We are pretty much filled up around the horseshoe. Is there a slot to be had? Nope. Not a slot to be had. All the inner spaces are full. And Michael's passed out in the... <laughs> and then there's... He's legal over here. Actually, so is he. Oh, it is a beautiful day here at the Cheeseburger and Paradise Party. And now I put on my ridiculously large floppy hat and sun shirt so I don't get fried. Fried. Picking up a bit. It's now noon. Quick pano. One of my favorite things about this party is is that everyone is hell bent on having a good time and not starting any trouble. plethora of sun, music, libations, and no shortage of things to look at.
that in there is good. So, fine captain that we have navigated us through coral some reef. cut in a coral reef on high tide. I'll show you a picture here on the map. And then um, we had to go out into the ocean because check out these seas. Down you mean the non-existent the ones? The non-existent seas. What do you call it? It's like glass. So as we rolled out a fiddle cut, we headed south down towards Man o War. And right before you get to Man o War Cut, you have Fowl K Nature Preserve. And this is the best diving in the Abacos, bar none. So we anchor the boat right there in the middle, and then you can see all the different dive spots with mooring balls for the smaller vessels. So we start exploring a few of the reefs, and man, it just kept getting better and better. Sorry for the shakiness. Unfortunately, they threw me a GoPro, and I did not have a handle on it. So I was kind of just uh, freehanding it here, and that's when I dropped it. <laughs> But easy recovery. Some really beautiful reefs here. And the depth range is anything from 3 feet to 18 feet, you know, depending on how far you want to go down. I particularly like the little crevices that are cut into the coral themselves, and uh, when you dive down into them, you can fly through them. Oh, little school, I saw a classroom. <laughs> that was funny, huh? We saw the whole school. Scott is uh, snorkeling himself behind, behind the dinghy. Yeah. You not? Are you not getting that right now? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, then I'm. That was amazing. And so you, it's a probably, I would say, three feet deep over the top of the reef, maybe, and then there's some spots that stick up, maybe a foot. I don't know what tide we're on right now, but it. Uh, a little undaunting going over the top of some of those crevices. No you don't know yeah. what it was underneath the crevices. That's what made me nervous. I was like, oh, uh, yeah. well, I was in force you don't want to touch it. So Yeah, yeah. Because there were yeah, places well, where it was somebody walk on water really real shallow when you're swimming mm -hmm. over it, floating over it. Pulling in to Hope Down. Uh, uh, Defrosting. The guest bought Ooh. some hawkfish and lobster tails from a local and some crab claws. So we are going to ditch taco night for seafood night. What we got cake and wibble? Well, we've got some beautiful hawkfish wrapped up to stay nice and pretty inside of these aluminum foil packages. And then here we're going to have some nice little grilled lobster. We're going to see how that works out. Sailing the space between, holy cow, what an awesome evening. Here we are in Hope Town, the Bahamas, and we're fixing to enjoy a beautiful seafood dinner brought to you by Sailing the Space Between. And, Rand sure and Randy's pocketbook. Yeah, in my pocketbook. So we are here at the beautiful Tahiti Beach. Our guests are maxing and relaxing. Sandbar is on its way out of the water or into the water. And we just did a quick cleanup job from having people and seafood on the boat. Always tends to make things. So, we're all cleaned up. It is the 4th of July. So we're going to go sit on the beach and relax with the guests. And then, go back to Treasure tonight and they head out in the morning. Another beautiful place here uh, that Scott and Holly have brought us to on the space between. This is uh, somewhere in the Bahamas and it's absolutely beautiful and wonderful. We have a great time checking out all the wonderful stuff. There's our wonderful hostess with the mostess. 
for taking care of business, making it all happen. And there's Captain Scott behind the wheel. Where? Right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That guy. Where? That guy. Right there. Beautiful place. Wonderful, wonderful fun time. Uh, I just can't get over the beauty of the whole Bahamas. It's absolutely amazing how awesome it is. And we just stopped here for a quick swim. What a fun thing to do here on the, you know, you're doing sailing the space between. You just stop wherever you want to and you take a quick swim in a beautiful lagoon that you've never seen and no one else has ever seen before either, I suppose, other than the last guy yesterday. But what a wonderful place to be. Holly! Woohoo! Hey, Holly! <laughs> Dan the man! When the captain jumps ship, we, we follow course. Right. There we go. Oh. <laughs> we're in deep, all right. We're in deep. Mr. Captain Scott, I didn't see a shark. <laughs> no shark. What was your favorite part of the trip? Oh, uh, everything. Actually, the food was one of the best. The food was right here in the space between. Couldn't get any better. And yeah, take it now on the menu, I guess. <laughs> the cruise is over, Dan. You don't have to brown that. Yeah. Okay, Will. It was an excellent experience. Can't wait to give Randy some more money to do it again. <laughs> Nineteen knots of wind. Sailing at seven and a half knots. We have left the guests, or the guests have left us, and we are headed towards. That way. I haven't figured it out yet. I thought we were going on the outside, but obviously the winds have come up. So we're going where the wind takes us. For once, we're just going to go in the, way. in the direction the winds are actually in our favor. Since we really have no place to be until Monday. Going wherever the wind takes us. I don't think I've ever said that before, except on day charters. Um, we don't have to be at Tohoke Town until Monday. And there's 20 knots of wind out there, so we are under sail and just taking it and picking a point on the map to go um, once we want to stop. So we decided to stop in Man of War. Holly and I had never been here before in all the years we've been here, and we were so surprised with this little island, and it's just full of the rich history of the Abacos. Now Holly noticed something under the boat. What it was was one of these remoras. However, I wonder where their host is because they're fairly large and we were just swimming in that water. A little bit choppy out today, heading over to Hopetown. Settled on the ball in Hopetown, we saw a cat had run aground at the entrance. Ooh, which is a mega yacht over there, has their quote unquote dinghy. Missed it. They just got them free. They're Germans. I don't think they speak much English. Thank you. This is 110 percent. Why we don't bear boat our boat? This is ridiculous. I have rescued the captain. Yep. After putting his cape on. After putting what? Your cape on. No. They just ditched you. The Bahamians. Yeah. After you put your cape, he's like, "How about you go and do it?" Yep. And then they just ditched you. Well, that's because they were pushing it further and further on the reef, and it wasn't. They weren't doing him any good. Oh. Luckily, we got a boat that was willing to help that yeah. had enough horsepower and yeah. just snatched it right off. Yeah, the Intrepid helped out. I tried to video what I could, but it's my first time running the dinghy, so I did the best I could. You did fine. You didn't hit anything or get run over. Thank you to Family Jewel for helping out. Yep. Germans and said rental cat 45 lagoon. Yeah, she's a big girl. So basically, the captain just knew the right way to turn the wheel because that guy didn't seem to have a clue which way to go once somebody was pulling him off. Right, and then I was trying to explain to him that you need to put your knee into the wheel and hold the wheel perfectly straight and use your engines at 
low speeds because your rudder authority is nothing unless you're doing two to three knots. And uh, so I, I think something was lost in translation, but I think he started to see the way I was doing it, and he caught on really quickly, and and uh, he, he got us over to that mooring, and I pulled the mooring up and slapped it on the top, and the guy's like, that's all you have to do? I'm like, ah. So now it's time to cover up the dinghy and secure the boat and get ready for our flight back to the States where we'll be for a week and then we'll come back, pick her up and take her home. So we hopped the Hopetown to Mars shuttle and away we went. Looking back at the amazing times had in the Abacos is bittersweet. Knowing the destruction they are enduring, it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But with the help of those that love and long to see our little slice of paradise back and to see the kind-hearted Abaconians' homes and businesses restored, anything is possible. We encourage everyone who enjoyed this video to give it a like, then do something to help them. And next episode, we complete the dinghy debacle.